Hey guys and welcome to Where's the Scale. So you know me, <laughs> I don't want you to spend money on something that you do not need. And a few weeks, I think, um, ago, I recorded a video titled ChatGPT Better Than Surfer SEO. And the reception was quite good. And this time around, we will still be using ChatGPT, but I wanted to test different uh, keyword extraction methods and compare five completely free tools that can help you with that. And since I don't want this video to be one hour long, there's going to be some limitations to this experiment. So limitation number one is that we are going to use uh, Surfer SEO and we'll be pasting paragraphs or very small articles. And the end goal would be to compare the SEO score. And the idea here is not to get the highest SEO score possible. I have quite a few videos on how to achieve that. Today, we are not striving to get 60, 70, 80 SEO score. We are just comparing SEO scores of different outputs. That's limitation number one. Limitation number two is that we are going to test uh, all of these based on one URL only. The way I have chosen that URL is as follows. So the target keyword is Langen. And then using the free Mosbar plugin, I'm just comparing two metrics, the domain rating or domain authority and the links. So I can see that I have already looked um, thoroughly um, at this page and I can see that highpeakpets.com have uh, very little backlinking, very small backlinking profile and the page authority of 18, but domain authority of nine. So they are the perfect donor for us to try and replicate the success of the page by using it as a reference. So this is the article. It's quite lengthy for the keywords. And the tools that we are going to measure are all again free. The first one is the Keyword Density Checker by Small SEO Tools. The second one is free TF IDF tool by SEOability. The second one, the third one rather, is, is a optimization tool by Kazan SEO. And Kazan SEO is a suite of different tools. You have your clustering keyword tool, you have your GPT-3 detector, and so you can check it out. It's completely free. So the fourth keyword tool which is a freemium version of the key search is LSI Keywords Generator. And the fifth tool is going to be ChatGPT itself. And in all of the, my experiments today, I'll be using the GPT 3.5 since GPT 4 is quite unstable. And I realize that not everybody has access to GPT 4 inside the playground. So we'll be using GPT 3.5. And I have my scoring card ready to write down the SEO score that we get each and every time. So let's begin. So first, what I'll do, I'll copy the contents of this page. And I have obviously excluded the table of contents. So let's first see how ChatGPT will handle this task by on its own. So there's going to be two step prompts. The first one is going to be extract LSI Keywords from the below text. And the second command is going to be even simpler. Use all of the above LSI keywords to write a detailed article about Candoxid long end. Okay, so this is what we got in return. And this is going to be our reference point. We'll be comparing all of the results to this one. So let's paste it here and I'll be spending some time formatting the Headings. So, okay, we got a score of 53. Again, our score is uh, not optimal since our content is pretty tiny and we haven't worked on the perfect outline, but this is not the point. The point is to compare different keyword 
LSI keyword extraction tools. So this is our default score. And again, we'll be using this as a reference. So the chat GBD scored 53. Let's now check the second tool, keyword density, and we can use both URLs and text. Explore keyword density. Okay. So the way it works, you get your top keywords. You have your keyword density based on whether the keyword is one word, two words, three words. And one of the ways to approach it is to copy the top keywords first. I would ignore the one word variations, maybe play around with two. And let's just use the two word variations. We can see that the frequency is quite high and I might get duplicates since I pasted the top keywords first and now I'm going for the two word keywords, but that's okay. Okay, let's choose this one here. This is very high frequency. And can dox it long end, can, yeah, and this one here. So, so basically what we did, we looked at the one, two, three, and four word variations, and we took the ones that had a frequency of three, four, and five. So, okay, for the LSI TDI, so, okay, now the score is 49. Let's mark it down. Keyword density checker, 49. Now let's try the second one, which is the TF-IDF. And we can, in we can insert the keywords, which is interesting. We can insert the URL. Let's do that. And country, okay. Google.com it is, and we have three of so interesting. I actually used both the keywords and the URL. So to make the experiment fair, let's go to the URL in question. These are the scores with high TF in IDF. Let's copy them over. And I'll have to filter do some filtering, filter the below keywords, removing special characters and numbers. Use all the below keywords to write detailed articles, article with subheadings. So interesting, we're already above the ChatGPT LSI keyword extraction. Let's see how far we can take this. So we are just very slightly above what ChatGPT did on its own, 54. Now let's go to Kazan SEO. So this looks like a stripped down version of Surfer SEO, and I will be copying the, all of the keyword suggestions. And as far as I could tell, Kazan SEO is not based on any particular URL. It is based on the keyword. And it looks like we are repeating the current best score of 54. So let's just note this down. Kazan SEO return 54. And just out of curiosity, I'll be pasting it back to Kazan. And we can see that, well, unfortunately, we did not use uh, if you were like privacy policy, <laughs> which we should have. Um, we overused a few words like health, for example. We underutilized a couple of words uh, like dog, for example, and we didn't have we didn't use any words like seats. Unfortunately, in this Kazan SEO thing, it does not give you an overall score. So this is just a tool for you to extract the LSI keywords. And so far, it's no better or worse than the other tools that we have used. Now let's try the last one, which is the LSI keyword generator. Here again, I cannot insert the URL, so I'll be 
dealing with the keyword itself. And I would assume that uh, this uh, is a stripped down version. So let's just take all these suggestions. Wow, interesting. So it looks like this is so far a clear winner. And I'm not, not sure if uh, this is luck involved. So it's just so happened that the uh, this generation by ChatGPT accidentally used the correct words. But so far, this is a clear leader, 58. So this was the key search free LSI keyword generator, 58. And now to see if there is any merit to these experiments, let's run through Surfer the unoptimized version. So we'll use the same prompt, but without the specific keywords. We'll just say write a detailed article with subheadings about Kent Oxid Long End. Okay, let's just check for other possible H2s that I might have missed now. So everything seems to be in order. So the default SEO score is 48, and this is quite high actually, so I'm surprised. The default is 48. So now for the final experiment, we'll be using the surface own suggestions. Let's use the important terms to use. So this text is based on the suggestions by Surface here, not by other tools. Let's see what the score is going to be. So this is how running, guys. We got 48. And yeah, I should have included Surface here in the table to begin with, but let's just say this is Surface here, and this is 48. <laughs> This tells me at least a couple of things. First, Surfer SEO is not the only source of the keywords that you can use. And it didn't do a better job than the other tools that extracted LSI or TDI keywords. Second, the overall SEO score is more dependent on the heading structure. And watch uh, my videos about how to create the perfect outline. Watch my video about the chat GPT and SEO and how to get those perfect scores. And yeah, so basically uh, you don't need Surfer SEO. You need just a free tool that extracts OSI keywords. Then you need to mimic the structure of the headings, which you can get for free just by looking at the SERPs. And yeah. <laughs> So this proves that basically if we strip down Surfer SEO to its one function, which is extracting keywords, it's not necessary. And I do realize that Surfer SEO is much more than that. But if you're looking for a free alternative to Surfer SEO when it came to LSI keywords, you can choose basically any of the ones that I've shown you today. And there you have it, guys. So the unedited... Uh, raw version without any optimization scores 48. The optimized with ChatGPT scores 53. The clear winner was the free OSI generator. The keyword density, I would say this is not worth it. It doesn't work. And both the TFIDF <laughs> tool <laughs> and Kazan SEO were a very close second. So there you have it, guys. You just got another alternative to Surfer SEO, which is the key search. And from what I could tell, the tool itself is quite pricey, but you can still enjoy the OSI keywords. And again, this is not based on the any particular URL. This is based on the keyword itself. So this can be both a limitation or an opportunity. Hopefully this was helpful. Like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.